click here to like this video. Your comments are welcome. Subscribe to get new videos. Okay, so in this video, we are going to show you how to place our beams, okay? And we are going to lock that one up at the first floor. So let's go to the first floor level, not analytical, first floor level, and then we start placing our beams. So this is how beams are placed. Now we come into structure and we have beam. Okay, so uh, obviously the default one you have is universal beam. We now have beams here which we can use for our work. Let's choose 300 by 600. We are not so much particular about functionality, okay? So let's say we want a size of about... Let's click in any of them first. So now we have our reinforced concrete rectangular beam. So we come in here to choose the type that we want. So now let's label it. So we say cab beam, let's say 600 by 250, okay? So we state it up here and then we come in here to change the width to 250 and we say 600 okay so that's what we have here mm. okay so this is how beams are placed you come straight here and you turn it up to the next one then see because of the chain effect you bring it in you can even stretch it up to the next ones let's see what happens okay it sees it as a very long column okay but you see here we want it to be designed separately okay so that it is not running as a very straight column coming up from there so we can delete this beam and then pick our beam again the one easiest way to get it done is to select it and see if it's similar and then we can come in here and then select it straight up we take this and then we take this one here okay there's also another way of getting it done so we we'll come to the beam choose the same method that we have and then you say on grid if you say on grid it means that you want to place it on the grid and then wherever is left is going to fill in for you so on grid on this grid you're going to have it on this screen, you're going to have it on this screen, and have it here, you're going to have this one to here. Okay. Okay, sorry, we press the control key so that we can add multiples of that. Okay, so yeah. We can also look at this grid, add it up, and then it is done. Let's also try to cross this side by putting it on this grid, and you can say finish. Okay, let's go back. We didn't finish placing it so on grid here, then on grid there. We have something in here to place it. Press our control. We have this one here, and um, we can place this one to here. Okay. So that is it. We say finish sketch and it's done. Okay, so let's stretch in this one here. So let's look at what we have done so far. So we check the 3D. And we are doing well. In fact, we missed one thing. Let's go back to the first floor. Uh, the, the beams here are not supposed to be included here. It is only at the second floor that we, we need those columns. So let's delete it. So you click and then you, you press delete. Okay, so we almost made an error in our design. Okay, it's supposed to be a straight column up there. Okay, so that's about it. We have our beams placed in the first floor. Let's go back to the first floor. Now we can select the beams and the columns we have here okay you can select the beams and the columns that we have here like this with the exception of the round columns okay so we want to take the round columns out of this because they are ending at the next floor so we are going to pick this floor from the first floor and then move it up to 
the fifth floor okay so this is how it is done if you want to duplicate your beams in the other floors to make it very easy for you you highlight the elements that you have in this case we have not placed our columns up there so we are selected everything but for us to be sure of what we selected we can decide to click on the filter and then see okay so structural framing i have my columns i have my beams okay so yeah so that's okay for me i said okay and then i come straight here to copy to clipboard click on it immediately the paste option pops up i say click here i said align to selected levels i click on it then i have second floor second floor selected third fourth and then the fifth floor okay so we are pushing this straight away to that time so you say okay it is doing some simple arrangement and some thinking so that it's going to come out very nicely so what it simply means is that we have duplicated all these things we copied it up and then we can see that in this higher design we can use the shaded view so we see very well okay so this is our beams and our columns okay so we can now come back at this second floor and then close up the beam at the top so let's do that quickly let's do that quickly let's come back to the second floor okay we're coming back to the second floor and then we pick our beam okay so we are using 250 by 600 let's say this time we decide to use okay let's duplicate this and make it 700 it's okay so change okay we make it 700 say okay and then now in coming to place it we can say add grid and then we say we have chosen this grid and it's there on it then we finish it our beams are placed okay Please click here to like this video, your comments are welcome, subscribe to get new videos.